right, MTG Next Door stitch here. And as I showed you in the last video, I got two heavily damaged, heavily damaged uh, Double Masters draft packs at a local store, and they gave me a sweet deal on them. It came to about 26 bucks in change, in change, and plus, God, I can't even talk. $26 each. That's off from nearly 40 bucks you would pay in retail. Um, and I am nervous that there's some compromised action here, that packs might have been removed. I'm not doing this one right now. This one's too scary. I don't want to know. I don't want to know if I got ripped off, but I'll do this one. It was only caved in a little bit here. There's a little bit of damage back here. It's not too bad. Seals are not broken. Yeah, this one's a little bit messed up, but the seals have not been broken. Who the hell knows what happened to these things on the way to the shelf, but in this particular store, I have never seen anything like super, super heavily damaged. It's always really neat. Uh, I'm guessing this was bottom of the pallet, bottom of the box, and it just got smushed. Uh, there's nothing inside really to reinforce these packages. There's a little slip thing holding in the, uh, you know, the three packs. Oh, and tonight I found this in my um, camping supplies <clears throat> back at the bottom of my backpacking. So we're going to open with this. Uh, there is no markings on this. I have, I used to carry this with me um, backpacking, but it's just way too heavy. This thing, this thing weighs probably close to a pound and a half. Uh, and I can't do that. All the markings on it are cold steel china. Don't know what it is. I think my father gave this to me a, a while ago. It looks to be maybe like a throwing knife. I, I don't know. But we're going to open with this. Unwisely, probably. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. And let's see if we got three packs. Yeah, oh, they're stuck in there good. Yep, yeah, we got three packs. So, yes, we have gotten three packs. Uh, they are not opened. I will start opening them. I'm going to unwisely open them with this thing. Oh, that was a lot easier than it should have been. And did we damage any cards? Yes, we did. <laughs> I damaged the token. I don't know if you'd see that. Uh, I think that's it, though. Yep, nope, damage the token. So, as usual, we'll flip the sucker over. I will go through and just name the commons. Uh, these are cards you should already know. They've been reprinted to hell and back. Um, and then we will read off the uncommons and the rares and whatever else might be in here. So we've got Death Head Cobra, give it reach and death touch, Tumble Magnet, well, that was a standard, uh, that was standard and standard ages ago. Dire Fleet Hoarder, Goblin, Hi, okay, again, you know, what What ha needs to happen is I need to put a little sticker on top of the uh, uh, computer saying, put your damn glasses on, you can't see. Baldovian Rage, number five of your commons are Givian Restoration, Chromatic Star, Remember the Fallen, and we should be hitting on commons. We are hitting on commons. What do we got here? We've got Oval Chase, the de 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 Red Devil. <laughs> Oval Chase to Red Devil. Uh, it is a human pilot, a 4-2 for 3 and 1 black. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you may return Oval Chase to Red Devil from your graveyard to your hand. Dark Steel Citadel. Very nice. Indestructible. Add colorless. Last one. Oh, this is a nice double uh, land pack. If you're an Urza or Tron, uh, Ash Barons, uh, again, I've said this before, I'm glad to get as many of these as I can. Uh, until I read uh, uh, the um, Ranking Every Land article out on EDH Rick, I didn't realize how actually really good Ash Barons is in your four and five color decks. So I traded all mine away a long time ago except a singleton. I'll be keeping these. And that's the uncommons. Let's see what's in here. Rare. Note, I have opened six... Uh, I've opened this is my seventh pack of uh, double masters and no mythics yet and not gonna get one now well of ideas Five and a blue for an enchantment. I don't know this card. I like the art on that though. Take a look at that That is some throwback art my friends. You don't get it like that anymore. All you get is airbrush titties and and uh, koala fish bears uh, When well of ideas enters the battlefield draw two cards 
Okay, so you're getting two cards for six. What else do I get? At the beginning of each other player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. That's not good. At the beginning of your draw step, draw two additional cards. Okay, so that's the price you pay. So you're going to be getting two cards, and then every upkeep, you get two more cards, as long as this lives. Uh, not bad. And another rare. Falconrath Aristocrat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, any of you who are watching this video who are in my local game, uh, if you want one of these, let me know. I will get it to you. Uh, I have plenty, um, and I already have an Aristocrats deck, so, but I'll read it for you. Two, a black and a red for a 4-1 Flying Haste Vampire Noble. Sacrifice a creature, Falconrath Aristocrat gains indestructible until end of turn. If the sacrifice creature was a human, put a 1-1 counter on this card. Not bad, and a good, uh, solid aristocrat card. Let's see if we can get anything out of it. Now, <laughs> foil common, fortify. Foiling is okay. And another foil, co foil common. Why, why should I believe I'm ever going to get anything but foil commons? Fierce empath. Okay, and a treasure token. That was cute. Let's move on. God, I pick up this knife, and I'm certain I'm going to hurt myself. Let's start at the bottom this time. It's just like a knife through butter. All right. Oh. Commander Q. Every format and in between. What do we get on our other art here? These advertisements have been kind of funny. There you go. Put it on the bottom. Treasure. No compass, no problem. Yeah, find stores and events everywhere. Another one. Lies. All lies. There will never be another event. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm running out of mouth spit because I'm talking too much today. So here's to you. I may be the only YouTuber that op is opening packs that can't afford to open them and drinks cheap beer while doing so. Cathartic Reunion, Cast Down, Fierce Empath, there's your foil and your regular. Urza's Power Plant. There you go, that's probably the most valuable card right here. Let's get that in foil, that would be sweet. <laughs> that's about a buck and a half. Uh, uh, no, I don't know that Falcon, I, I don't think Falcon Wrath Aristocrat's that valuable. It's been reprinted a few times, so. Frogify, I did want another one of these. Always, always, always in a mono blue deck do I need uh, to stop creatures. Uh, okay, Everflowing Chalice. Uh, Doc, I don't know if you know how good this really is, but in EDH, this is a pretty damn good card. Uh, you kind of just poo-pooed it last time, and I was a little bit, a little bit shocked at that, but, you know, you might not have ever played Everflowing Chalice. Uh, you know, turn, turn four, this is a, two, this is a Sol Ring, basically, for free. So, um, yep, that's that. Uh, oh, no, we're still in the comments. Mer Retriever, not bad. Oh, we got three, four, five, six, seven. This is number eight. Sanctum Spirit, and we're in the Uncommons. Valor in Akros. So it's three and white for an enchantment. Whenever another, whenever a creature enters the battlefield and under your control, creature you control get one one until end of turn. Mediocre at best. Sphinx of the Guild Pack. Uh, you know what? I love the look of this card. I've never understood how anybody is using it. It is a five five for seven. It is all colors. It is flying. It is hexproof from monocolored. I assume that has some value in a in a not standard uh, in the modern you know, the modern play. I, I don't know. I don't play modern. I don't play pioneer. Uh, I only play group formats. So I, this looks. It feels like something, but who knows? Uncommon brimstone volley. Two and a red for an instant. It deals three damage to any target. And Morbid, Brimstone Dolly deals, Volley deals five damage instead of a creature died this turn. All right, here we go. On to the foils. Do we want to look at the foils first? Would that be less miserable? Yeah, let's do that. Let's look at the foils first. Let's see here. We got Germ Token, Foil. Common, okay. It's common. Ours is mine, okay. It's not, it's a foil Ours is mine. So that's, you know, that's probably a couple bucks for you Tron players. I uh, hate that artwork. The foiling sucks, but yeah, Ours is mine and foil, ladies and gentlemen. Who thought we'd ever see it? Uh, what else we got? Another common, keeping the streak alive of shitty packs. Uh, skin brand goblin. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. No mythics. Bet it's no mythics. It's a rare, of course it's no mythics. What is this? 
Ravenous Trap. It's a trap, so this is not worth anything, but I'll read it. Uh, two and two black for an instant trap. If an opponent had three or more cards put in their graveyard from anywhere this turn, you may pay zero rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Exile all, all cards from that player's from target player's library. Uh, Archive trap would have been better and funnier for inside joke, but nope, not such. No, let's see. And it's another rare. No mythics. Pack seven. Uh, pack eight. Pack eight. Duplicant. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, <laughs> artifact creature shapes. I'll read it. I mean, this is an old card. Uh, Meriden, I think. So it's a six for a two four. It's an artifact creature. It's a shapeshifter. Imprint. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile target non-token creature. As long as the car, as long as the card exiled with duplicate is a creature card, duplicate has the power, toughness, and creature types of the last creature card exiled with duplicate. It's still a shapeshifter. So duplicate has a place in my Brago deck where I can constantly bounce this, and every single time it becomes the creature that you want to exile. It's still not worth shit. It is good for Brago and Brago alone. Oh my god. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I know about the very four of you who live within a block of me. Uh, it's raining like hell here and the lightning is bad. Uh, okay, so we're looking at about, let's see, I paid about 26 bucks for this and the value right now is probably right around four. So that's terrible. Uh, Let's see what we got here. Temir Battle Rage, Garbage, Cast Down, not working for us. Darksteel Axe, not bad. Elvis Aberration, never played it, never will. Whoa, look at this. Chatter of the Squirrel. Look at that artwork. I mean, I want to play this card just because I'm. the squirrel has blood in its mouth. This is amazing. I've been wanting to build a Squirrels deck for years because it's funny as hell, and if I'm going to lose constantly to Mr. A and Doc, I want to lose on my terms. So I might just put something like this together tonight. I'm going to read it because I don't know this card. Uh, Chara is a Squirrel. Uh, it's one green for a sorcery to create a 1-1 one, one green. Oh, Doc, you read this last night. I guess I just wasn't looking at the artwork. I mean, that is gruesome, dude. It is just gruesome. I'm sorry, this video is going to go way long. <laughs> Uh, so you get a 1-1 one, one squirrel token creature. Oh, it has flashback for it. So, yeah. Okay, so you get two 1-1 one, one squirrels. Uh, I can find a way to exploit this. Can't we attach this to, like... Isn't there an uh, Isn't there an artifact I can attach this to to cast it over and over and over? I'm going to look into that. Mirror Retriever again. Metallic Rebuke. Crib Swap. Love this one. I <laughs> love this card. The artwork is so tremendous. It's still my baby, and I'm going to care for it like it's my own, even though it's... Fucking green. <laughs> uh, okay, Changeling. Oh, this is an uncommon, but I'm going to read it. I like this card. Um, the lower one block was awesome. Exile target creature. Its controller creates a 1-1 one, one colorless shapeshifter creature token with Changeling. Uh, very, very crafty removal at uh, instant... I meant... Uh, sorry. Yeah, at uh, instant speed. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's uncommons. Let's get, uh, let's get this back on track. Ravenous Intruder. One in a black for a gremlin. That's a 1-2. Sacrifice an artifact. Ravenous Intruder gets 2-2 two, two until end of turn. All right. Mersmith. One and a white for a 2-1. Human Artificer. When you cast an artifact spell, you may pay one. If you do, create a 1-1 one, one colorless Mer artifact creature token. Rush of Knowledge. Four and a blue. Draw cards equal to the highest converted mana cost among permits you control. That's not bad in EDH at all. Ah, oh, God, very dry today. Um, let's go and let's do the foils again so we can get our two commons out of the way. Uh, there's our token. It's a wolf. Oh, we got an uncommon. All right, we're moving on up. Oh, it's Hinder. That's actually not a bad card. It's probably not worth much in foil. Uh, I'll read it. Counter target spell. Oh, it's one and two blue. Counter target spell. If that spell is counted this way, put that card on the bottom of, your own, of its owner's library instead of into that player's graveyard. Uh, in EDH, that means the card is going away until searched up forever. So, not bad. And the foiling on that's decent. Uh, see, again, I like it when they foil the background and not the character, so it gives it some depth. That's good foiling. 
They're learning. You're learning, wizards. You're learning. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, foil common, battle rattle shaman. All right, let's continue this dumpster fire. Our last two, what undoubtedly will be rares. Uh, it's a rare, it's a one, two, it's a Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, so that paid for the pack almost. Uh, I've gotten a couple of these already, one in white. When Stoneforge Mystic enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an equipment card, review it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. This is the bad part. For one in a white, you can tap this creature and put an equipment card from your hand onto the battlefield. That's terrible. If you don't know why, you haven't been playing Magic for very long, because that's terrible. Uh, guys, I got like six of these cards now. Uh, text me if you want one of them. Uh, I'll bring it out Tuesday. Free of charge. It's a 20 buck card, but what am I going to do with six of them? Uh, yeah, so that helps. That helps a lot. And our second rare is a mythic. Our second rare is a mythic. What could it be? It's a 4-4 four, four something. I'll let you, let's, let's do a guessing game. I'll give you 10 seconds. It's a 4-4 four, four something. Can't really see the colors. It's a 4-4 four, four something. Give you a few more seconds. Maybe we'll reveal the mana cost. There you go. Converted mana. The mana cost is green, white, blue, black. What is it? I know what it is because I play this thing all the time and I'm very happy to get a Traxa in a non-foil. That's not bad. So here, this right here combined probably saved the entire box. Uh, I'm guessing 20 bucks here, 10 or 15 here. Um, but this I will use. Uh, I no longer have to squint at the shitty foiling that is the attraction from the commander set. I can actually see the artwork. Uh, I will read this for anyone who has never played against me in Atraxa. Um, it's an angel horror. Flying Vigilance, Death Touch, Lifelink at the beginning of your end step. Proliferate. Uh, that is what a commander should be, everyone. Um, I've never played against it, but I've watched my deck blow up more than once. And it's crazy. If you can protect Atraxa and and start turning turns on this. This is an incredible card. So that's not bad. So most of the rares and foils in this thing were crap. Uh, yeah, garbage, garbage. That's a couple bucks, maybe. Uh, and what else did we get? I'm running low. Uh, I'm already 17 minutes. I need to get out of here. Uh, anyone wants the Aristocrat or a Stoneforge Mystic, y'all text me. Let me know. I'll bring one of them out to you. Um, on Tuesday when we decide to social distance and have some alcohol in someone's driveway. Uh, we're social distancing because the goddamn COVID's still out there. It's going to get you.